Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, today we're going to be talking about the Luke Cage buff. Finally, I get my chance to play heads on, uh, hands on with the Luke Cage. And uh, his buff was quite hyped. And we're going to have pre-buff damage, post-buff damage with and without synergies in the Realm of Legends as well as some shorter form content. So this is going to be effectively Luke Cage. Free buff. Now, keep in mind that these fights will be with class disadvantage. Uh, however, uh, obviously here we're going to be abusing the living daylights out of Luke Cage stun loop mechanic, which is something that the buff basically does away with. You kind of can do like two stuns and that's about it now. Uh, also worth pointing out that uh, in this version, I think especially Relic is quite helpful for Luke Cage as well in order to extend those stun chains and be able to gain more power. Uh, post buff, obviously, Relic would still be helpful, but not necessarily just as much. However, this gameplay will be without the Relic. Ultimately, we know what Luke Cage does, right? The interesting thing is going to be what damage he can put out. And here, right now, we are going to see a very clear issue with Luke Cage. Because he was extremely RNG dependent. His chance to place those exhaustions was not that high. And quite often, you just ended up with one or zero exhaustions regardless of how much you try if the rng is not on your side if that happens you might as well just build up to level three and you know uh get five exhaustions that way but it definitely you know kind of lengthens the fight so that was one of his pre-buff issues especially when unsynergized he was extremely rng reliant his charm always lied in some sort of access to extra buffs. That's one. And second, the fact that you could effectively semi-reliably stun loop the opponent with 87% chance to stun on your level one, ability to get in four hit and a full combo afterwards, and then rinse and repeat effectively. And if you did happen to miss your stun, you did have your signature ability that can save you. Now, it is cool. Quite evident and clear that Kabam did not like that because they effectively made everything about his old kit and the way we like to use Luke Cage worse. Uh, the stuns, you know, you cannot longer stun chain. Now you can only stun the opponent if they already are under the effect of concussion, which means that you have dropped already a level two in the fight. And you can only stun like twice anyways. And they still increased further uh, the duration and cooldown of your indestructible. So ultimately, this will be the first unsynergized fight. And as we can see, it has taken a while. Now, obviously, I will synergize him in the next fight, and that will have quite different results. For this one, even with all this cheesing and stun looping and the fact that Realm Legends champions do not have level 3, which, I, again, is not a deal breaker for Luke Cage because of his indestructible. You could do the same thing in other game modes too. Uh, you're just going to have to sit through a level 3 animation now and then. But here we can see the fight is over 2 minutes, 42, 229 hits. Now, Synergized Luke Cage, on the other hand, performs drastically differently. We're also giving him the Mr. Fantastic uh, debuffs here. Now here, obviously, we're just showcasing the signature ability completely on purpose. And the entire point of Luke Cage is that if you have more different debuffs on the opponent or more debuffs in general, Luke Cage does increase his damage output. And with this synergy team, also, he has higher chance of placing exhaustions. As we can see now, we are, you know, steadily staying at five, six exha exhaustions here. Stuns are critting, and the damage numbers are looking significantly, significantly better. In fact, that is another thing that uh, in the new Luke Cage buff has been made less potent, which is the damage bonus per buff that he receives. Therefore, he will still synergize with other nodes that place debuffs on opponents, and he will still get an extra attack, not as much as he used to, however. The thing that he will do, on the other hand, is he himself will place more debuffs, therefore, by default, on his base, will end up with more damage, which, you know, is more significant in majority of the gameplay scenarios. But here we can see completely different numbers, completely different pace of the fight. And with that, this level one's already in overkill. And it's basically half the length, less than half the length. One minute 16 when synergized. Now, this fight we are going to ignore because I will probably use this video to showcase the lag. By the way, let me know in the comment section if you are noticing significantly more lag in the gameplay. 
But here is Luke Cage after the buff, and you can notice that he immediately places up a lot more exhaustions. Now, in the new kit, you will also be forced to drop significantly more heavies on opponent in order to get the debilitate uh, that increases the debuff duration, which is quite important. Also, when you reach six exhaustions on the opponent, you get thunder, which reduces their crit resistance basically down to zero. As you can see, as soon as you get the thunder up, uh, you know, we can crit more should opponents happen to have that crit resistance. So going for the debilitate here. And now I am, because this is a longer fight, going to go for my level 3 uh, in order to get that trauma, which is another unique debuff. <clears throat> On top of the fact, I get to pause uh, some other debuffs here, as we can see, and basically just do more damage. Now we're going to be building up level 2. We have 15 exhaustions. Uh, unfortunately, that Winter Soldier does not want to really throw that special, but that's fine. Here, I drop my heavy attack in order to, again, increase the duration of all the future debuffs that I will be applying. Uh, trauma is not too potent on a level 3, so in majority of the fights, it will not necessarily come in handy. But here, I'm going to go for my level 2. Unfortunately, my debility dropped off, so my concussion doesn't really have the increased duration. But we are back and we are cooking, because now we are ready to kind of like close out that fight. Uh, still very solid numbers for sure. Remember, pre-buff, we had one, 242. 242 here for the fight. Now we're going to see that duration obviously reduced. The question is by how much and whether it will be enough. Um, right. So here again, we can see that I dropped two level ones and, you know, the next stun is just not quite long enough plus the concussion has fallen off anyway so even if i activated even if i managed to activate level one uh the winter soldier would not have gotten stunned there now 159 so 159 with class disadvantage in here is okay it's not great let's face it it's all right it's not insane or fast or crazy he's not a damage dealing god so far by the looks of it which i'm going to show later on and this is me using effectively the same synergy team that I used in the previous showcase pre-buff. So this is post-buff, synergized Luke Cage. And okay, I'm gonna give you guys a spoiler alert here on this one because because it's not faster. Luke Cage with synergies previously was faster with his stun loop. Uh, but that's fine, because synergies are losing relevance, that's not too important. Kabam often does that when, you know, previously we had champions that existed long in the game, they gave a ton of cool synergies, and then Kabam either makes those synergies less relevant or nerfs the synergies directly. Question is whether he will be fast enough against Deadpool here. So this is a rank 3 6 star going up against this Deadpool that is appropriate representation of like a Battlegrounds fight pretty much. Uh, or close to that duration. If you use testing, you know, higher than the rank 3, 6 stars, then, you know, this helpful is too small. But for rank 3, 6 stars, I think this is decent. So in a shorter fight, you will want to go for level 2, and then basically spam your level 1s to close out that fight, whilst occasionally weaving in a heavy attack. And let's see how well we are going to do here. So I'm going for my level 1 to pause the uh, concussion, I believe, and the exhaustions, and we finish the job off with 43 seconds. Now that's not great, that's not awful. 43 seconds with 6 star rank 3 against that Deadpool. Again, it's, it's not great, it's not awful. And now we're going to be going up against Venom the Duck. Uh, I'm going to make some scuffs in this fight, but none of them will significantly affect the duration of the fight. If anything, I'm utilizing my signature ability to gain power faster here, so it's all according to the plan, right? Uh, but again, you want to drop your heavy attack, you want to make sure your debilitate is active at all times in order to increase the debuff duration and have an extra debuff because that still gives you more damage. And then in these shorter fights, shorter fights, you want to go for your level two and then level one spawn. So now I'm dropping my level two, I'm gonna eat up the exhaustions in order to place concussion. And then you just want to build up your exhaustions yet again. Okay, you have debilitate active and basically go for stun loop to finish off the fight so this is a 200k helpful which again would be approximately what the battlegrounds fight is and let us see whether that will be enough one more low one yeah and that is just fine and this fight lasts a minute 
Right. So that is post buff Luke Cage. Realistically, obviously, his damage output has increased in virtually, you know, any single kind of like combat aspect. He is faster, synergized, he's not. They have taken away his borderline infinite stun loop. They have reduced his synergy with different nodes and debuffs, which again is not that relevant. It's more important how he interacts like in a generic fight. At the same time, I must say, uh, there is no question about the fact that he's better and he's more viable. I want to put that straight out there. Definitely better. At the same time, the fact that I need to drop in heavy attacks now more often, it makes for significantly less satisfying playstyle. Taking away the stun cheese, I, I get why Kabam does it, but at the same time, they keep doing it to the champions and it kind of makes them less fun. There's like less unique stuff about them, I would say. Um, but that's fine. So they have they have taken away his party trick that he had previously. They have added in heavy attack, you know, reliance, which I really dislike in champions like this. And uh, obviously that that he has kind of remained his core identity. He's better. For sure. Is he good enough for me to kind of like think or want to rank him up currently? No. Like after testing out his damage, definitely, and playstyle, it does not feel like a champion that I will be prioritizing in science class because number one, science class is insanely jacked and you just have that much better alternatives damage wise, fun wise, you know, also defensive capability wise because he has nothing for defense. At the same time, there can be a case that Luke Cage is exactly what we need. So I wouldn't kind of like throw him in the dumpster either. For instance, when the Red Skull buff came out, I liked the Red Skull buff. I, I thought it was solid. I thought it was decent. I didn't like it as much as I like Red Skull right now. And the reason for it is because he just seemed to work. He just seemed to fit once we actually got to using him in different methods and battlegrounds and different game modes and so forth. It is very possible the same thing will happen to Luke Cage, where he just, you know, his concussion is super useful, for instance, or, uh, you know, ability to quickly get the debuffs on, or the indestructible eating those stupid unblockable special attacks if you have to, and then nuking something through it. Maybe. Maybe, I'm not saying that. However, like, my honest opinion is, obviously the damage has improved, but not that drastically. And... After playing with him, I'm not over the moon. I'm going to be honest. He's better, for sure. Am I sold on him? No. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about...